Hey everyone, most common question I get is you know about financial freedom or uh, how one can achieve financial freedom at a very early age uh, is that how do one do that and what makes uh, what is the biggest difference that drives somebody to uh, create that kind of a portfolio that can sustain your life for the rest of the uh, you know period. So the single biggest answer I have or I found based on my analysis is, is taking the least path traveled and at the same time the ability to take risk. Those are the two main reasons and uh, I'm going to cover the risk taking ability today. There is a, something called as a perceived risk that most people should understand what it is and the real risk. And a perceived risk usually is an uncertainty that most people are scared of and a real risk is something different you know, which, is, which is more uh, in terms of a probability of occurrence. Now, when I, whenever I talk to people, most people say I'm risk averse. I do not take risk. I do not invest in equities. Or for people who invest in equities, they say like, you know, look, I invest in equities, but it's only five to 10 percentage of my portfolio. Now that is a total asset. And the rest of the money is in real estate and other things. You need to understand that you need to invest in an asset that defeats inflation. Now, inflation is usually running at four or five percentage in any economy over long periods of time. And you need to invest in as appreciating assets that defeats in inflation consistently so that your purchasing power keeps going up, not stagnant and stay at the same place. If you invest in a five percentage appreciating bond or a savings account deposit, you know, you are not running anywhere. It's a treadmill, as I always say. You know, you're not beating even the inflation, which is at four or five percentage, right? Which would come down to four or five percentage eventually. Now, that's something you need to take aware of. You need to be aware of, right? What creates wealth? There is only one opportunity that can create wealth. It is investing in businesses. It's investing in your own business or investing in businesses that can create uh, as a shareholder, whether it's public or private equity, right? And investing in businesses is, is perceived as a high risk uh, activity and most people run away from it. That is 90% of people think that it's a high risk uh, instrument, which is not really the case. If you really look at the historical returns of indexes itself, S&P index, it itself is compounding at nine to 10 percentage over long periods of time. And if you calculate and create a beautiful portfolio of stocks or businesses that can compound at 12, 15 percentage, you made your way for the rest of the uh, period, you know, that you can create so much wealth. I, my favorite quote always is like, you know, a ship is uh, a ship in harbor is safe, but that is not what ships are built for. You think the money is safe in a bank account or in yields or in real estate because you can see that, you know, you can physically see the real estate. You can physically see a coffee shop that you invest in, but you cannot physically see and feel um, the share ownership in companies. That is one of the biggest reason people perceive that as a high risk instrument. But if you really go and study historically, the S&P 500, you know, you need to make the money work for you. The ship is not, the ship equivalent here is a money. It is safe in the bank deposit. You think it is safe. It's a perceived uh, way of looking at safety and risk. But it's not really safe because an instrument that is not even defeating inflation, what is a, what is a safety? You're not even increasing your purchasing power. So you need to look at stocks equities you know it's part ownership of businesses that goes a long way in the future equities are short term risky but long term safest investing instrument the reason is due to a bias there is a famous bias called believing is seeing or believing in seeing now or it's part of the confirmation bias one aspect of confirmation bias in case of an investment as i said like a real estate you can see it right so believing in seeing as part of confirmation bias you feel that it's safe there but a share ownership in a business is not something that you see daily. You just see a quote and that quote keeps wavering in and out every day, which makes it perceive the risk to be very high. Because when the stocks you buy goes down a 60, 40, 50 percentage, you think that it is too risky and you will lose your capital. But it's a perceived risk because the nature of the market is gyrating. The nature of the market is wavering and it is oscillating between different points at different, point, different uh, stages of time. But over a long periods of time, the S&P index is compounding at 9 to 10 percentage, as I said. And plus you add the dividends, it compounds 10, 11 percentage. That's a great return over long periods of time. It's better than putting your money in your deposits or you think the safe harbors are, right? whatever they are. Now, if you 
want to understand and learn about the power of compounding which can create huge amount of wealth do look at my video which i'll put a link to in the end of this video and if you want to learn about investing how to do how to invest in equities uh, even how to invest in index funds do register for my course i put my link to the course and my website in the description but having said that whether you do it or not the important point to understand is as i always repeat a ship it looks appears to be safe in harbor but that is not what the ships are built for only when you make the money work for you during day out day in day out and when you are not working that is when you achieve financial freedom make the money work for you harder by investing in equities that can compound wealth over long periods of time that makes that creates a real wealth and that creates financial freedom that's the single most difference and i wanted to bring that up thanks for staying with me signing off sandeep anand